I return. Let me refresh this. Hi, what's up, Kex? Flipper dude, you still there? Ooh, I'm liking the look of this already. Yeah, it was a PS2 game that base well PS2 games that made up my entire childhood. This apparently is all new. No idea what these two things are. I think they're just like the movies. But this trilogy made up my childhood when I was like 16 and up and it took place over three games at the end of each game you get to carry your save data to the next game sort of like Mass Effect did and uh yeah I won't spoil too much I got nervous when it said it was installing and then I went and clicked on I think this part and it said I could play the first one so we should be good for streaming all right, let's do this. Hell no, we're not playing cheat mode. Get ready for Animu. But yeah, this game, this game was my life. My body is ready. We are creating our character. Because we're playing a game where a person is playing a game. And I'll try not to talk over cutscenes. <laughs> okay, so you didn't have to say that. Yes, he did. This is Haseo's day one. The answer we're playing today, lol. Yeah. I think I'm gonna fall really hard into this one, though. The nostalgia's real. Though the combat system probably hasn't aged well. Oh, this, this is cool. cool. Oh, you. Hey, hey. Hey, you. You, 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 well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. Well. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, All right. so let's so open, let's the, open the, menu. the menu. I don't remember if this section originally had voice acting. It. 
So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, Flipper Dude, this is some Inception type shit. I'm playing as the person who is playing this game and his character. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. They changed the interface a bit. Your names from the list and press X. Yep. Okay, let's have some fun. This basically was the original Sword Art Online back in the day, and it took Sword Art took a lot of inspiration from this like game series. Epic. I'm honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Also, I love how you ended up the last stream. I have so much crap to upload. I've been streaming, like, I don't think I've ever streamed this long. Uh, I'm excited for this game, though. Miley is too, but I don't know if he's going to stream or YouTube. Head to the save shop before going on adventure. Talk to the save shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save your progress in the game. Welcome, would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Also, I know his movement speed's like stupid sonic fast, but the town's really big and empty, so let's get that way. Yes, I want to save. Like I ended it right after you said that. It was amazing. Good. After the preparations are complete, use the Chaos Gate to go on an adventure. Okay. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose warp menu. I am out of water. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, emails and, and forums. forums. Which, yes, we get to check emails and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start, start with the first, with the first word. word. This game was so ahead of its time. Choose courageous, courageous from your stock. Not engaging. And Adrian, the okay. only ones we have. Now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. We unlock more as we go along. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. My god. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. I like how crisp everything looks. All right. Then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. And shit warp. Yep. Also, it would be boring to play as a noob for the whole game. But we'll get there. We've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Boop. I said boop. There we this go. This is the area map. Yep. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go for this X. Like this the numbers. Is our mission. <laughs> Come on. Just let me play the game. Collect the number of symbol fragments required for this area. Currently in possession 03. Basically, um, 
Well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. And talk super slow. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or, or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. I like that one better. These are the altar icons. <clears throat> I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is which our is final, our final destination. destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Thank you. The game's 10 years old and now I play it. Stuff. You forgot one more thing. Transported to return to town after completing the area's mission. It also it's also got a healing function called the platform rest, which you can use once in the area. Use it when you're low on HP and SP. Okay, this time let's really get going. I actually don't remember that being a thing. Mm. You're unsure where the Beast Temple or the altars are? Just click the center button to check them out. It used to be a select button. And even though it's very shallow, you cannot cross in the water. That's nice. We found an altar already. I am overflowing with nostalgia right now. Perform a surprise attack by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen and pressing X on the target cursor appears. So basically circle around them. There you go. Press X for the surprise attack. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Hey, you're not too bad. They were literally standing still. Not so difficult, huh? No, it is not. Hold down X and release it when the gauge is full. Charge attack. Yeah, keep it up. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Yep. Usually you just spam X. You can also, unless they change the button mapping, you can hit R1 and use your SP to create a special attack. Though you want to wait until you can do a Rengeki. Which is when the enemy becomes open after comboing them enough. Yeah. Also, it's always a thousand EXP to level up, but the amount you get is based on how strong the monsters are compared to your current level. Sometimes the treasure chest on the top of the altars will contain some of fragments you need to open the beast temple. Remember to search the treasure chest after defeating the monsters around the altars. Collect the collect three symbol fragments by opening all the treasure chests on the altar. The symbol fragments are used to open the temple gate. Search the temple chest atop the altar. Boom. Symbol fragment. Acquire the first symbol fragment. Head for the next altar to the east. Check the map for directions. I'm so pumped. All right. We found another altar. Yep. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. R1, unless I changed it. That guy. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Yep. Change it to triangle. Skill triggers a shortcut for performing skills. Press the R1 to open the skill. Yeah, that one. All I got right now is Gale Blade. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. It's the only one I have. Gale Blade! Alright, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. You can use it when someone's about to hit you with like a charge attack or something. Aren't 
you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Rengeki. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Geki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, use a skill attack when the enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring, appears and continuously inflicted with damage. Attack the enemy until it's surrounded by blue and purple rings. Get up. Get up. There we go. Use skill trigger now. Yep. Favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used or other conditions are met. Raises the morale of your party members will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite action vary with each party there member. You go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? Thank you. That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Trigger gauge will appear above the player's head when the skill trigger is used. It is not possible to use items or skills until the skill gauge fills up and the R1 appears. Search the treasure chest atop the altar. Symbol fragment. Acquire the second symbol fragment. Head for the next altar farther north. Pay attention to remaining health. We're good. If you fill up the morale gauge, you get to unlock... Well, not unlock, but you get to use something special. Not gonna happen during the tutorial. This is the final altar. Remember what Eoten and I Asta have taught you and acquire the item inside the treasure chest. Yeah. You can also fill the gauge by, like, healing people. They always appreciate that. And if you stand around still outside of battle, your SP will come back really quickly. Though I just got it healed by one of my party members. That was nothing. I wonder if they sped it up, though. So you don't have to wait around as much. Because I remember if... I was in a particularly hard area, um, and my SP gauge was empty. I would just have my characters, like, all sit somewhere in a safe spot, and I'd, like, walk away and, like, use the bathroom or something. Symbol fragment. Symbol fragments have started to shine. Symbol fragments join together. And I got the judge's symbol. Which opens the door. Yeah! Awesome job! Alright. Let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. Mm-hmm. Ah, I can't move while using the map. Also, normally in every, um area there's a small animal which I'd usually search for non-stop night and day to be able to get 100% chapter completion you have to like kick every animal once you have to fight every enemy once you have to find every NPC once you have to all that fun stuff but I don't believe there's one on this map no all right in the temple we go For goody goody cutscenes. Are you pumped, Flipper Dude? You should be pumped. This is a statue of Volsen, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the beast statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. Sure. 
Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Boop. Dry sash. Thanks. What the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... This is my reward! Poor Hase. <laughs> well, what do you expect from a new who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello? <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend. They fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> Hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Huh? What the? Get out of here. I mean, they were only level 10. Haseo didn't have a good experience.
I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Yep. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> That's the server, but I'll go for now. Thank you, Kex. Sad that you were going. Scenes. So it's you, you, the character that stinks of death, the terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Yep. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Trees Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki. And I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you White say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. <gasps> Do you always interrupt people like that? You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> Atali, do you know this person? Uh, no. Atali. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. True facts. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey you, why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta hidden forbidden waterfall. Waiting at RK Kel. But who sent it? <laughs> Ovan. <laughs> Poof. Gone. Just hold on a moment. Eh. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Yeah. I like my way better. Poof. Exactly. Oh, 
move on. What's up? It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You, where have you been? Doing Haseo, stuff. Always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking <laughs> figuratively. Yeah. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino. Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Exposition. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triad. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes, but that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triad, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triad, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today, at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Ground's Cathedral. Yes, finally! I'll get my chance. I swear I'll bring Shino back. I'll do it, Ovan. Yes. You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. He's like the most cryptic person in existence. Ah, uh, cause he's Ovan. He does Ovan things. He will be back today. At the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here. Oof. 
dry hedge? What do you think? Triggered. Over. Yep. Reboot complete. Huh? What the? I was fighting Tri Edge, but then. Continuing process. Damn it, I can't remember. System reformatting complete. I don't remember doing that. Reformatted? What's going on? What about my emails? Mail data not found. Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. They're all gone. Even the emails I got from Shino. Oven. Oven. There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. It is a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It is the path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt. The latter path is torturous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you have chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then there will come a time when you and I will meet again in the world. When the time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. 
trial and truth. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then, I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what! But before we do that, let's check the news. But maybe not all of it. <gasps> Online Jack. Welcome to the Online Jack, the no-holds-barred information program that brings you the hottest topics. Our star reporter, Salvador Ihara, will bring you the dirt you want to know. And here's the week's Jack Track. Doll Syndrome. Doll Syndrome is the mysterious illness that is secretly spreading amongst elementary school students. Our online Jack investigators will lock on to Taichiro Sugai, the noted professor and author of online games, are turning our children into dolls. The dangers of Doll Syndrome. Okay, everyone, let's call our Salvador Ihara. Yep. Controversies in today's news. The in your face, hard hitting show. Welcome to Online Jack. Okay, get ready, all you netizens out there. Today's Jack target is Doll Syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non responsive. That's right, this disease turns children into lifeless dolls. Oh no! But we'll fight back. To combat this earth shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! It's called Doll Syndrome, a truly mysterious illness. Some scientists tell us the cause is endocrine disrupting chemicals, but what I want to showcase here is this book. Internet games are turning our kids into dolls. A warning about doll syndrome. Taichiro Sugai, a professor from Takeuma University, wrote the book and lives here. According to his book, doll syndrome's root cause is none other than online games. Online games. Famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants all living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You'll remember that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put, put into, a, into coma. a coma. Could it be that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let us begin the interview. What do you want? You know how late it is? Hey there, I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Ihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. Hmm. Huh. Ah, can you believe this guy? Open up, Professor Sugai, we want to talk to you. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here! If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research, but isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you! Well then, prove to us that your sources are credible! If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. Oh. Give me a break. Who would believe you? And another thing, I'm an associate professor. Okay. Well, we were turned down by associate professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. This is the elementary school where associate professor Sugai was conducting his study on doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Ihara is here. Oh, are you? We're in the middle of class. Oh, what is this vision of loveliness that graces our presence? Hello, Senorita. What? You and I can save the world together. Viva Salvador! Get out of here, you creep! Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. 
Good for you. If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. You entertainment people have no decency. You're so beautiful when you're angry. Stop that. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. I love how they took the time to actually, like, do all of this. I'll read another article. CyberConnect Japan announced today that its popular online game, The World R2, has sold 12 million copies worldwide. CC Corp's other products include The World, Fate Must Die, Person, and Kuru Kuru Michi. The World R2 is an online game set in a fantasy world where humans and beasts live together. Players become world-renowned adventurers and travel around killing monsters and discovering the world's secrets. As recently as a few years ago, shares in the world were at an all-time low due to the emergence of new developers. On top of that, the world was completely shut down after all data was lost in a disastrous fire at CC Corp headquarters. Amid the chaos and compensation issues that resulted from these events, CC Corp announced the sequel, The World R2. Most people deemed it a desperate plea for attention, and many analysts declared that R2 would fail miserably. However, the figures shown today have proven that the world is as popular as ever. CC Corp seems confident. Watch us overcome the problems we encountered on our previous title. It seems everyone will be watching the world for some time to come. Mm. Aww, section. New station nearing completion. It has been five years since the space station evolution was completed, and the second station announced the International Space Station built with the cooperation of America, Japan, EU, Russia, and China, it's finally nearing completion. Initially, it was projected to launch in 2017 in contrast to the evolution, which is currently being used in the space laboratory. The new space station is planned for use in construction of the moon base, exploration of Mars, and search for extraterrestrial intelligence. With the with the of Japan 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 and many Did other I just read all that for nothing? The space station, slated for completion in 2017, is nearly done. As large as a soccer stadium, this fully manned facility will be used for various types of research in a deep space environment. Well, you didn't have to steal my thunder. No, they said something different. Okay. Nation unified on citizen numbering system. The administration regulations bill has been passed by a majority f with a majority vote. This digitalization of government approaches its final stages. Starting this month, all local servers managed by regional governments will be frozen. The various ID rules used by self-governing bodies will be unified to federal government speculations. In addition, it will become required for all governing bodies to adopt the numbering system and for all citizens to wear their own number at all times for administrative purposes. The system included introduced the system introduces speed up government processes by conducting them online is already being used in online banking, shopping, and other sites. By using a receiver placed in one's home, all Japanese citizens will be able to use their cell phones or mobile computers to access a variety of services from anywhere in the country. Yet in spite of the incredible conveniences we have today, the system has met with severe opposition. Recently, the Independent Japan Party won many seats in the lower house of the Diet because of the population position to abandon the bill altogether. Calls for all political parties to discuss this bill are still continuing, and the problem has attracted a lot of media attention. Mr. Koji, chief editor of the weekly magazine Netwatcher, had this to say. It is true that the system will make things very convenient. When you compare the time when the bill is first approved to now, encryption technology has made huge leaps. The NAB, Network Administration Bureau, has been established in the and some semblance of order has been brought to the internet. There are far fewer data leaks in the first glance, it would appear, and no problems whatsoever. However, take a moment to think, in exchange for IT advancements and a more convenient lifestyle, we have been reduced to being defined by a fifth... <sighs> Reduced to being defined by a 15-digit combination. This is no different from the ear tags placed on cows and horses to tell them apart. None of the people are so opposed to the degrading system. So all this, the system has been made through legal processes and will soon be part of our lives. Will there ever come a day when we'll welcome it? The Online Administration Act received a majority vote of the ruling party, meaning the adoption of the citizen numbering system seems to be inevitable. As a result, the process of converting to an electronic government has overcome its final hurdle. And I will stop for now. And hopefully remember where I left off.
because I want to do a little bit more gameplay before I finally call it a night. Also, this is a thing in the second game and onward. Unless they changed it. Yep. And this should just be the cutscenes we've already seen. Or not. The world. Login. What's going on? Why is my equipment different? Reasons. What the? Uh, I'm back at level one? What about my items? My member list? My equipment? Oof. <laughs> gone. It's all gone. My whole character has been completely reformatted. Hey, did you see that guy just now? With the really weird arm? <laughs> totally! Arm? Um? What do you think? Exactly. Dovai? He would know something about this. Sometimes, your next destination is indicated on the map by a cursor. Straight ahead. Clever dude! Are you still there? Whee. Hey, do you know what that guy's job was? I don't think I've seen a design like that. I didn't look that closely. I saw him head towards the harbor. Maybe I'll go get a closer look. And I really have to pee, but I'm gonna hold it to a point that's actually appropriate. Hey champ, shut up. Leave me alone. But yeah, I'm uh back at level one. Creepy. So, you like guys that look like that? Where'd he go? Uh, I think he went down that alley. Thank you for the follow. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for the follow, Warner Wolf. Wolf. Wow. I'm tired. It's, uh, 6 a.m. <laughs> and I will be playing this game a lot. And I'll be uploading it to YouTube if you miss it. Damn. Damn. It's those player killers. <laughs> it's not much of a challenge when they're so pathetically weak. Yeah, I know what you mean. Fighting those noobs is making us all rusty. That rogue that we fought the last time? He really wasn't that bad. Yeah. You mean we're going after him next? Hell yeah. There is no way in hell. I can back down after what happened last time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wait, what the hell am I hiding for? 
before. Why do I have to hide from bastards like them? It's pathetic. Because you're level one. You're kidding. The I don't think you can town. teaches noobs all they need to know to become top players. We're actually pretty famous, you know. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. I need to give you our member addresses first. Here. Member addresses are an address system. Oh, man. Just for communicating it's just my luck to get world. mixed up with when a bunch of weirdos. Party, I even lost sight of Ovon. Anyway... Right now, I've got to level back up to become the Terror of Death. Well, I guess I'll just hang out with them for a little while longer. Look, it doesn't mean that they'll join just because you invite them to. Um, were you listening to me? No. Yeah, I was listening. You were? Really? Yes, really. Anyway, come on. You're gonna teach me the basics, right? So hurry up and let's move on to the next lesson. Okay, then let's go to an area. Now, invite us into your party and we'll go find the Chaos Gate. Silvus and Gaspar join my party. So I just need to head to the Chaos Gate. I can get faster if I use the war point. Should be one around here. Shut up. I know that. Okay, well then, a good area for a noob is... Delta Peaceful Leaving Freedom. That should be a good place to start. Area word given by Syllabus and Gaspard. This is an area for beginners. I can understand you wanting to roleplay something like that, but I'm not really sure if you should do Terror of Death, you know? Player killers are going to come after you, 
and it'll definitely be rough for you. Hey, just shut up and listen. Exposition. So you're saying you're really the PKK Haseo, the terror of death. And when you logged in, your level went down from 133 to 1? No way! I've never heard of a bug quite like that. Wow! Not lying! Okay, but still... Gaspard, that's what he's role-playing. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> That's some really complicated character background. It's not role-playing! Don't be embarrassed. We'll accept your character concept. Just relax, and come with us! Will you please listen to me already? No. The enemy has been spotted! Okay, maybe we should start by telling you about the skill trigger. I already know about that. But how could you know? You're just a noob. No, I'm not. Uh, why don't we give it a shot? Okay, come on, Haseo. Let's go fight the monsters. Don't forget to use the skill trigger, okay? Here, skill trigger. Let's keep it up. I love how they're level four and three, but they're talking about how they're a famous noob support guild. Yes! Way to go, Haseo! Yeah. Looks like you can use the skill trigger just fine. Yep. I just can't believe that you're a noob. Oh my god. I told you, I'm not a... Okay, okay. Let's move on. Will you two just listen to me? No. Neither of you have healing magic. Lovely. There's another enemy! Well, now that you know how to use the skill trigger, let's learn about Rengeki. I already know about... Uh, okay, then let's go and fight them! <laughs> I'll tell you the timing to execute it, so make sure you use it. Ah, uh, listen to me, damn it! Don't worry, we're listening all right. Yeah, right. I think even I can win! Geki was pretty good. Oh, duh. Wow! Way to go, Haseo! Nice! I was so bad when I was a noob. Good job! I told you, I'm not a... Yeah, no one would think you're a noob with your skills. Hey, come on! Let's keep going! Are you even hearing anything I'm saying to you? No. Serious animal that resides in the world is a chim chim approaching kick it to acquire energy known as chim spheres. Chim spheres are vital to operate the various steam machinery, so you should always keep at least 30 in stock. However, if you have too many, it will cause some difficulties. Good job, guys. Go get it.
This is the stairway down. We don't want to use it yet. Should be able to get a lower level from here. That's nice, but still have a lot of room to cover. And unlike before, I actually get to keep my levels this time, so. I return. Let me refresh this. Hi, what's up, Kex? Flipper dude, you still there? Ooh, I'm liking the look of this already. Yeah, it was a PS2 game that based, well, PS2 games that made up my entire childhood. This apparently is all new. No idea what these two things are. I think they're just like the movies. But this trilogy made up my childhood when I was like 16 and up and it took place over three games at the end of each game you get to carry your save data to the next game sort of like Mass Effect did and uh yeah I won't spoil too much I got nervous when it said it was installing and then I went and clicked on I think this part and it said I could play the first one so we should be good for streaming all right, let's do this. Hell no, we're not playing cheat mode. Come here. Hmm. I return. Let me refresh this. Hi, what's up, Kex? Flipper dude, you still there? Ooh, I'm liking the look of this already. Yeah, it was a PS2 game that based, well, PS2 games that made up my entire childhood. This apparently is all new. No idea what these two things are. I think they're just like the movies. But this trilogy made up my childhood when I was like 16 and up and it took place over three games at the end of each game you get to carry your save data to the next game sort of like Mass Effect did and uh yeah I won't spoil too much I got nervous when it said it was installing and then I went and clicked on I think this part and it said I could play the first one so we should be good for streaming all right, let's do this. Hell no, we're not playing cheat mode. Get ready for Animu. But yeah, this game, this game was my life. My body is ready. We are creating our character. Because we're playing a game where a person is playing a game. And I'll try not to talk over cutscenes.
<laughs> okay, Flutter, do you need to say that? Yes, he did. This is Haseo's day one. Games were played today, lol. Yeah. I think I'm gonna fall really hard into this one, though. The nostalgia's real. Though, the combat system probably hasn't aged well. Yeah, I did. I always do. Wow, this, this is, is cool. cool. Oh, you. Hey, hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. You, you, you Depth Depth Rogue. Rogue. Yeah, class. You, you. I'm talking to you. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Shortmail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right. All right, so let's, so let's open, open the, menu. the menu. I don't remember if this section originally had voice acting. It... So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, Flipper Dude, this is some Inception type shit. I'm playing as the person who is playing this game and his character. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. They changed the interface a bit. Put your names from the list and press X. Yep. Okay, let's have some fun. Hmm. I return. Let me refresh this. Hi, what's up, Kex? Flipper dude, you still there? Ooh, I'm liking the look of this already. Yeah, it was a PS2 game that based, well, PS2 games that made up my entire childhood. This apparently is all new. No idea what these two things are. I think they're just like the movies. But this trilogy made up my childhood when I was like 16 and up and it took place over three games at the end of each game you get to carry your save data to the next game sort of like Mass Effect did and uh yeah I won't spoil too much I got nervous when it said it was installing and then I went and clicked on I think this part and it said I could play the first one so we should be good for streaming all right, let's do this. Hell no, we're not playing cheat mode. Get ready for Animu. But yeah, this game, this game was my life. My body is ready. We are creating our character. Because we're playing a game where a person is playing a game. 
and I'll try not to talk over cutscenes. <laughs> Kate Flutter did not have to say that. Yes, he did. This is Haseo's day one. The answer we played today, lol. Yeah. I think I'm gonna fall really hard into this one, though. The nostalgia's real. Though the combat system probably hasn't aged well. Do. Whoa, oh, this, this is, is cool. cool. Oh, you. Hey, hey. Hey, hey you. You, 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 Death you, 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 well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. Well. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, All right. so let's so open, open the menu. The I don't remember if this section originally had voice acting. So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, Flipper Dude, this is some Inception type shit. I'm playing as the person who is playing this game and his character. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. They changed the interface a bit. Change the names from the list and press X. Yep. Okay, let's have some fun. This basically was the original Sword Art Online back in the day, and it took Sword Art took a lot of inspiration from this like game series. Epic. I am honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Also, love how you ended up the last stream. I have so much crap to upload. I've been streaming, like, I don't think I've ever streamed this long. Uh, I'm excited for this game, though. Miley is too, but I don't know if he's going to stream or YouTube. Head to the save shop before going on adventure. Talk to the save shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save your progress in the game. Welcome, would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Also, I know his movement speed's like stupid sonic fast, but the town's really big and empty, so let's get that way. Yes, I want to save. Larry well, ended it right after you said that. It was amazing. Good. After the preparations are complete, use the chaos gate to go on an adventure. Okay. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. 
Choose warp menu. I am out of water. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, emails and, and forums. forums. Which, yes, we get to check emails and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start, start with the first, with the first word. word. This game was so ahead of its time. Choose your courageous from your stock. Not engaging. And Adrian, the okay. only ones we have. Now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. We unlock more as we go along. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. My god. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. I like how crisp everything looks. Alright. Then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Initiate warp. Yep. Also, it would be boring to play as a noob for the whole game. But we'll so, get there. We've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Boop. I said boop. There we this go. This is the area map. Yep. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go and press this X. Like this numbers. is our mission. <laughs> Come on. Just let me play the game. Collect the number of symbol fragments required for this area. Currently in possession zero three. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. And talk super slow. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or, or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. I like that one better. These are the altar icons. <clears throat> I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the beast temple, which is, which our, is our final, final destination. destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Thank you. The game's ten years old and now how to play Master, it. You forgot one more thing. The transporter to return to town after completing the area's mission. It also it's also got a healing function called the platform rest, which you can use once in the area, use it when you're low on HP and SP. Okay, this time let's really get going. I actually don't remember that being a thing. Mm. You're unsure where the Beast Temple or the altars are, just click the center button to check the map. It used to be a select button. And even though it's very shallow, you cannot cross in the water. That's nice. We found an altar already. I am overflowing with nostalgia right now. Perform a surprise attack by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen and pressing X on the target cursor appears. So basically circle around them. There you go. Press X for the surprise attack. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence. So a bluff, huh? He's quite the strategist. Uh. What's wrong? 
What are we doing wasting our time? I mean, what if those player killers come back here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good point. Let's hurry back to town. First word, heavenly. Perfect score. Oh shit, I forgot there's freaking trophies now. Hey. Why don't you have Moon Tree protect you? Yeah, that's right. You've got those really strong looking PKers after you. <laughs> Moon Tree is a guild that supports the abolishment of PKs. And part of their mandate includes helping PK victims out. Moon tree, huh? Oh, them. <clears throat> you want me to beg those hard-headed dorks to protect me? Forget about it. I'd rather be PK'd than be protected by all those lecturing loudmouths. Seriously, who makes a charity group in a game? Yep. I'll say it. Yeah. What's wrong? How long have you been standing there? <laughs> what? You got a problem? Look, Haseo, you don't understand anything about Moon Tree, okay? We're just trying to make the world a more enjoyable place. We just want to reach an understanding with everyone. I mean, doesn't everyone feel like being nice to someone sometimes? We want to protect those feelings. We want to be able to protect those feelings. But everyone likes to make fun of us, saying we're just some charity group or some cult. We just want to improve together with everyone else. We are not here to lecture anyone. Do you get it? Do you understand? Do you, Haseo? Uh, you... Get a say in this? No. Hey. Yes. So, how did you even recognize me anyway? I mean, I don't look anything like I used to before. Well, I guess it's because you're still you. Huh? It's true that I didn't recognize you at first, but soon after that, I realized it was you. Me, so I have to get going now, but I'll tell you a lot more about Moon Tree next time. Yay! Was she a member of Moon Tree? That's great! Shut up. If you're friends with a Moon Tree member, the PKers are bound to leave you alone. Man. Yep. Even though she's got the same face and everything, she's definitely not Shino. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, that was all really interesting. Okay, we're gonna head for another area. How about you, Haseo? No, I, uh... Okay, got it. Well, if you need anything, just call us. We'll help you out. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Later. God, I'm so beat. What was that about? And what about that woman and the dangerous power she talked about? I'll log out and check my email or something. Select logout from the main menu while on the town to leave the world and return to the desktop. It can only be performed while on town to log back in, select the world from the desktop. And I have new mail. And that's not the right menu. And that's not the right menu. That is the right menu. Ugh.
there is an important unread email. All the quest or mail. There are any mails. Hi. Remember this. This is a basically a repeat of what we went over before, but don't forget it. Your character hides a very dangerous power, and we are the only ones who are capable of controlling that power. Who are you? Just who are you, lady? Do you not get how cryptic you sound? Or, no thanks. Who do you think you are? Showing up out of nowhere and spouting awesome nonsense. Get out of my face. We're gonna go with who do you think. Just who are you? Gaspard. Hi! So you really were the terror of death. I was so surprised. I wonder how many times I've been PK'd by now. LOL. Apparently Beast Race characters are really easy targets. Something like, I don't feel bad about killing it because it's just a dumb animal. If there's anything Syllabus or I can do to help, just let me know. Triage. If I anything about Triage, let me know. Not really. I don't need business with you. Triage. Let me know about Triage. Thanks, guy. Syllabus. No way. Thanks for venturing together with me. Never thought you were the real terror of death. I've heard a lot about you. This is the fourth time I've been targeted by PKers. I'm just glad I didn't actually die this time. R-O-T-F-L. So what are you going to do now? It must be really rough having to start from scratch again. Like what? There's no need for me to say anything like what I'm going to do next. So what did you hear about me? Leveling up. You gotta level up. Otherwise can't I walk around the world without feeling inadequate. Yep. Service. Quest. Jose, would you like taking on a quest with us? You may already know this, but quests are like part-time jobs for players. Basically, there are people in the world who have problems, we will help them out. By completing quests posted in the quest shop, you receive a reward that matches the content of the quest, so you'll be able to not only level up, but earn money at the same time. If you're interested, there's a quest shop near the warp point in the center district of Mach Anu right now, so you can probably take on a quest called the Crown Quest. If you're up to it, invite Gaspard and me, we'll be happy to help you out. New peeps. Adelie. Like small birds, chatting with moon tree members. Nice to meet you. Syllabus. Want. New cell phone. G, G Power 9 graphics card. And advanced M2D. Got your back. Gaspard. Favorite thing? Napping. Favorite food? Paella. Hates. Avocado and natto. Haseo. Play with me. Yep. Apparently I have a new movie. Just the one at the end. And it is going on 7 a.m. And I've been streaming for many hours, even though I've only been doing this for an hour and a half. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you, everyone, who's joined me not only for this stream, but everything that happened all day. Appreciate it. Um. If you like what you saw, you want to see more, hit follow. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe. And uh, if you liked it, hit it. It really helps me out. Thank you, everybody. Have an awesome night, or morning, or day. Peace.